So the last big hurdle for the seller is closing. And there's some things that go with closing, either just before or just after or exactly after is one of my favorites for some of this stuff. But you have to transfer everything out of your name. Now you're gonna stop your trash. You're gonna transfer the utilities into their name. So you're saying that we're moving, we're taking it out of our name, and then they have to call and set it up in their name, them being the buyers. Um, cable, mail getting forwarded. Um, any basically recurring monthly debt that's attached to it. Call your insurance person and tell them you are uh, no, no longer be owning the property as of a certain date and to stop your insurance. Um, all that kind of stuff gets done either just before or just after closing, depending on what you like. I like to close and then I literally dial up the phone and I hand the phone to the sellers and have them transfer, transfer utilities. And some of the others you just kind of do on your own you know, after. Depending on the current situation, you may no longer be living in the house. Uh, lots of times you move out before close, sometimes you move after. If we have a post occupancy, it just all depends. As for closing itself for the seller, it's pretty easy. You don't have very many docs to sign, um, it's just a few, so it's pretty painless. You sign docs for a few minutes, they sign docs for quite a few minutes.